picture from yesterday in North Portland. This is it's a little unclear. It's it's a telephone pole that has you know probably years worth of posters attached to it. The most modern one being Pride Brunch. You can't see that very clearly, but the four performers all appear to be uh, in drag, and so I I thought okay, Pride Brunch, cool. I guess you know Pride Pride Month has never mean anything mean mean meant. <laughs> Yeah, that's the term. <laughs> that's the term. Uh, anything in particular to me, but it's, you know, it's been in existence as long as I can remember. And okay, uh, click through though, you know, go to that, uh, whatever QR that code, code is called. Yeah. yeah, the QR code. And Zach, if you would show my screen briefly, uh, the Pride Brunch is actually, and it's actually happening, hey, it's happening almost right now. The doors open in eight minutes. So if you're in Portland and would rather be here, actually, no, it's sold out. Sorry, can't go. Um, but you read read the fine print, and it really is quite fine, isn't it? Uh, here, a little bit bigger, uh, and find that it's an all star cast for a drag queen brunch. <laughs> well, that's different. All star cast for a drag queen brunch. I thought it was a pride brunch. Nope, it's a drag queen brunch. I'm sorry, not the same. Yep. So I want to protect children before I want to protect sex workers. I want to protect women before I want to protect uh, trans men's rights to be, trans women's, sorry, rights to be in the prisons of the gender that they identify as. And I want to protect gay people uh, for to have their, you know, have spaces and actually have some place to honor themselves and what it is that they're unique situation in life goes through rather than having everything in pride munch be pride munch wow pride month being replaced with drag and, and trans and it seems like it's there everywhere and you know here of course we have uh wear your pride colors and come celebrate what makes the lgbtqia plus community so dang special yeah, th this is a topic much better covered uh, by others. I'm thinking in particular of uh, Katie Herzog and Mike Solana, two two of my uh, oh, and uh, and Douglas Murray, of course, all make related points very very well. But there is something you and I are old enough to remember um, when being gay was far more of a big deal than it is now. Yeah. And one of the things that those who truly did harbor bigotry about homosexuals used to say was that, you know, that this was somehow about recruiting children. Right. Now, the problem is that that's not what gays were doing, but there is that element here. And of course, we can... You now know, that the community has got all these other letters associated with it. Right. And that... Uh, I, I, I'm struggling for terminology that I shouldn't be struggling for. Yeah. But, um, you know, garden variety gay folks <laughs> um, are now um, being challenged by their supposed community, right, for simply being gay. That's because that has successfully been understood as a normal phenomenon. The point is there's this other um, element that is now pushing really fringe, dangerous stuff Very involving fringe. children. And, you know, one has to feel tremendous sympathy for for homosexuals who did finally, finally win their place in society. Um, you know, that was a long, ugly, terrible struggle. And now it's like, you know, they, they enjoyed five minutes of being welcomed in polite society before they're now being challenged by their supposedly own community. Right. It's, it's quite the predicament. No, and then the same argument can be made for the much larger community, you know, population of people that are women uh, who, have, you know, have had been more fully uh, empowered with legal rights for somewhat longer than homosexuals had in most, maybe all countries, um, but are seeing our rights eroded by the same fringe community and you know and children is a little bit of a different situation because you know people have been trying to protect children for th forever and other people have been trying to exploit children forever uh, but the the new thing there is that suddenly it has become the compassionate the liberal thing to do to encourage children to be exposed to adult human beings sex perversions no not compassionate, not liberal, 
that's on you for falling prey to some really insane ideology and I recommend that you think it through. Like, just put those words through a filter and like, yeah, actually, I don't think I want my kid exposed to that. Yeah. I don't think I want anyone's kids exposed to that. 